My name is Chris Johnston. I'm the president and founder of Sierra Olympic. Broadly, Sierra Olympic Technologies is an infrared camera innovation company. We've always been at the top of the technology pyramid throughout our 25 years in history, always dealing with the latest sensors available, always pushing the limits with optics and integration. And um, our mission is to continue to pursue that path, always leaping over the current technology and trying to get to the next technology level ahead of the market. Infrared has had a rapid evolution all along. Uh, there's been a number of technical innovations that have weathered economic cycle and the industry has just continued to grow. Around 2000 was when uh, airborne unmanned vehicles started uh, becoming more commonly used, primarily around 2003 in the military for obvious reasons. And we had the right products at the right time to uh, help out in that in that space and we were delivering the earliest thermal sensors into the fastest growing airborne platforms and it's just grown from there it started with simple um, low-cost sensors but then as the demands of that unmanned airborne market increased our cameras became much more complicated and much uh, higher performance to meet those demands. And it's just continued um, since that early 2000 period. And we're looking ahead to, gosh, the end of the 2020s already to figure out what the needs of these uh, airborne vehicles, these airborne imaging applications are actually going to be. So Sierra Olympic has wound up in this position where we provide customers an integration and technology capability that is often equivalent to much larger companies. We have an experience base, a team of uh, scientists and engineers here who have touched and been um, involved with a lot of technology in bigger companies. And being a smaller company uh, dedicated to quality, dedicated to innovation, we're able to deliver a high level of capability that otherwise is only available from a much larger company. There are two demands in our space right now, and it, it, it's a demand across multiple markets, in fact. Uh, the demands are higher performance at smaller size, meaning lower volume, lower weight, and potentially lower cost as well. And we're pursuing activities there at the very fundamental levels, engaging with the sensor vendors to reduce pixel size, uh, increasing our commitments to volume orders to reduce costs. So in reducing the size, weight, power, and cost of sensors, We've always been in the lead there, uh, and we're going to continue to pursue that at every, at every opportunity. The other future uh, demand that I see is higher resolution sensors, and that's driven mostly by advanced processing behind the sensor. Our customers are coming to us saying, I want more resolution and more pixels. Now that's kind of contradictory to that other goal of reducing cost because uh, the sensors tend to get much more expensive when you add more pixels. But the opportunity is there and the important applications are there where 
uh, advanced AI processors, machine learning processors are being put behind infrared sensors to relieve the gray matter burden on what's going on in, in uh, the particular application. Like I said, I started the company 25 years ago, and it really started growing around uh, 2010, 2012. Uh, some of the people that we've brought on board are some of the earliest innovators in the industry that I met 25 years ago. The infrared industry is very young, and we have people who have been involved with the company from the very beginning. And then how we round out our team is we just find all the best and the brightest that we can. Any talented person that comes through our door, we, we create a position for them if we need them. If we don't have a job description, we'll create a job description. Uh, we're always on the lookout for talent. Hood River uh, is a small town, but there's a very large technical core here. It all started with true innovators in the uh, infrared business and the unmanned aerial business. Um, Hood River is a attractive place, but it's a small town. We don't have a deep well of engineering talent in town, but we seem to attract the best and the brightest, and we're very happy with the results and the culture we've created here.